What's going on everyone? Anthony here with HG Toys and welcome back to another video. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering what the heck is going on here? No, this isn't the way I tend to record things. I'm normally behind the camera with the camera pointed at my review table. But I wanted to try something new today and talk to you guys about my top 10 most wanted Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figures that I want to be released in 2021. So the main reason I'm doing a video like this is because currently there are no new Lightning Collection figures out for me to review yet and I'm not actively seeking any Marvel Legends or Star Wars Black Series figures that I personally want. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this video. So the number 10 figure that I want released this year is the MMPR Black Ranger from the 10th anniversary episode Once a Ranger. So the main difference between this Black Ranger and the current ones we already have is that he will come with his Defender Vest that he got in the Part 2 episode of Once a Ranger. So I figured since this would be such a simple one for them to do, all they really have to do is add an Adam Park head sculpt and a Defender Vest that it should be no problem whatsoever for them to release it this year. So the number 9 figure that I want to be released this year is Lauren from Power Rangers Samurai. So the main reason I want this on my list is because the US never got an official release of the 4 inch line that Bandai used to do. It was only available in the UK and for whatever reason it was planned for the US it just never got to us. The line was scrapped and they had moved on to the next series. So I would finally love to have this character in figure form. So the number 8 figure that I want released this year is Cam the Green Samurai Ranger from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Now I just love the overall design of this figure, uh, mainly due to the fact that he's very reminiscent to Tommy as the Green Ranger, so I'm hoping when they finally release this figure that they find a way to be able to make his helmet swivel like it does in the show and his vest comes off when he goes into his other form. So the number 7 figure that I want released this year is Kira Dino Thunder Yellow. As most of you may know, Dino Thunder is one of my favorite series of Power Rangers to date. With the announcement of Ethan the Blue Dino Thunder Ranger to be released in the upcoming wave, I figured having Kira be released this year to finally complete the core Thunder team would be amazing. So number 6 for me is kind of a cop out and I'm hoping is a 5 pack release of the Legendary Squadron team. So if you're unfamiliar with the Legendary Squadron team, it is a power up form that was used in Power Rangers Super Mega Force uh, of what would have been Power Rangers Season 2 had Zaban chose to adapt those costumes costumes instead of carrying over the MMPR team. So I'm hoping since this form was used in Power Rangers Super Mega Force that Hasbro has the right to create these suits as action figure forms. And since technically they were never actually a team in Power Rangers, they wouldn't have to give us any head sculpts so all they would have to provide us with is the bodies and the weapons in the same vein as they did the Psycho Rangers. So number 5 for me is the RPM Red Ranger. Now if you guys know me or follow my other channel, I am a huge car guy. And for the fact that the Red Ranger drives a Nissan Silvia S14 in that show, I'm hoping they can find some way to release it with that car. If not, being able to have that Ranger who drove an S14 would be super great. So number 4 for me will be Super Mega Force Red. So Super Mega Force for me is not one of my favorite seasons. If anything, it's probably one of my least favorite seasons. But with that being said, I do love Gokaiger. I love how they were able to pull off their anniversary episodes with all the past rangers they were able to bring back in their show compared to what Super Mega Force did. So to have that figure in ranger form with a little Mobirate or a, a cell phone, however you want to call it, uh, with the ranger key in there, similar in the same vein as how the SH figures did it, would actually be pretty cool. Number 3 for me will be Gen Time Force Pink Ranger. Having a female lead a ranger team wasn't new to Power Rangers at this point. You obviously had Delphine, the white alien ranger, lead her team, but she wasn't played off in the way Jen was in Time Force, and I feel like just for that point alone that she deserves to be high on this list. So number two for me is kind of another cop out and I'm hoping is a three pack of the Boom Studio Comics Omega Rangers. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Omega Rangers, it is basically the story of where Jason, Trini, and Zack leave the core team to go off to other planets and help out there. Now they're on a secret mission and were given new powers and abilities. Now obviously I know there's a Blue Ranger involved in this team, but I think it's just easier for Hasbro to release a three pack uh, of the core three that people really want. So here we are, my number one figure that I want released this year in 2021, and that is Scorpina. So Scorpina is one of those fan favorite villain characters that have never really got a real action figure. I believe there was like an Imagine X toy made a few years back when it was still under Bandai's name. She was always one of my favorite villains growing up, and I would just love for the fact that they would release one this year so I can pose it next to my Goldar figure. So there you guys have it, my top 10 Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figures that I want to be released this year. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments down below and I can start making more videos like this. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any new updates on when I release my videos. So until next time guys, later.